All right, training day nine. Welcome back, Delta Life recruits. Today we're going to have a grocery store tour, and we're also going to hit up a couple of fast food restaurants. All right, go ahead and hop in the car here with me, and while I'm driving to the store, I'm just going to cover a few things about cooking and shopping in general. Hey, if you're not used to cooking, don't be scared to try some new things. You know, go out there, get you some stuff, and just start trying to cook. Maybe even try cooking the same things over and over again until you get good at those. And then just experiment and you'll get it before you know it. Most of all, remember that it's just a spectrum. All we got to do is learn to slide right every day. So if you start cooking those good meals and start sliding right, you're going to be just fine. Let's go to the store. Here's some quick tips. Make sure you have a plan. Plan out your meals. Stick to the perimeter of the grocery store. Remember the practical paleo solution. Stick to the three macronutrients. We'll talk about those in just a second. And try to get food that's in season. Saves you money. All right. Going through the front door here. I always tell my boot campers when I take them on their nutrition tour that I hate going through this part of the, the tour too quickly because in real life, you spend... 80 to 90 percent of your time going through this section and the meats. This first section right here is where you get all your carbohydrates. You want to get the majority of your carbs from these fruits and vegetables right here in the beginning of the store. Remember what I said, stick to the perimeter. Don't go down the aisles and get those high processed glycemic, high, high glycemic index carbohydrates. Stick to these fruits and vegetables that are low in the glycemic index. If at all possible, try to get organic fruit and vegetables. That's the best. That's when I usually tell people about carrots and the spectrum. And what do carrots have to do with the spectrum? I get it. You know how you can get carrots in a can? Or you could get them chopped up in a bag? Or you can get them where they still look like they have dirt on them and grass on the top, right? That's the spectrum. Eating carrots out of a can is better than eating french fries or something like that, right? So we're sliding a little further to the right. But those carrots you see that are chopped up and in a bag and fresh are even better than the canned ones. And the ones that you see just in a second as we get around this guy, you'll see them. They still got dirt on them and tree. Oh, excuse me, buddy. Let me get around here. Oops, see those carrots back there? Yeah, the ones with the dirt on them and the green on top, those are the ones you want to go for. That's all the way to the right. So you see all those leafy greens and vegetables? That's what we want to go for. Remember your three macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The perfect split of these is 40% carbs, 30% protein, and 30% fats. So you can't just run through this vegetable section. It's the biggest portion of every meal, and we're eating four to five times a day. So we need lots of carbs. Let's get back in the store. All these vegetables that you're seeing here are great load it up. The greener, the better. But another thing you can find in this section is good fats, like these avocados. Slice up some avocados and add them to your meals to add variety. And fats, fats give you your daily energy. I know it rolls off the tongue easy. Fat makes you fat, but this is just not true. These little cherry tomatoes right here make a great snack. You can throw them in a bag, bring them with you to lunch, and you can throw those down for your carbs. Salads are another great thing. And people always ask me at this part of the tour, but what about the dressing? Hey, I say if a little bit of ranch is going to get you to eat a salad instead of a cheeseburger and french fries, I say go with the ranch all day. All right, so let's walk back over and let's talk a little more about fruit. I love pears, oranges, apples. I use them all the time for my snacks, but you do have to be careful with fruit. They are pretty high in sugar. That natural sugar, I know, but they are still pretty high. Some of them are even really high on the glycemic index. The main one you want to stay away from is bananas. Definitely try to stay away from them later in the evening. All right, here's some dried fruits and vegetables. Uh, you can use these, these coconut chips. Those are really good, good fats. There's a lot of different kinds. I like these little melodies right here, these mixes with raw almonds and dried fruits. Now, again, these are high in sugar. I get that, but I'd much rather you eat these for a snack, like these banana chips. I'd rather you eat these for a snack when you get that sweet tooth than some little Debbie cakes. Whatever you do, don't get this diet confused with a low-carb diet. This is not the Atkins diet. That is really unhealthy. But it is hard to get enough carbs with, with vegetables. That's why you got to use these sweet potatoes. Slice them in half. Use the long skinny ones. Slice them in half. Chop them up. Stir fry them with breakfast. Use them all the time. But none of these other potatoes 
Other potatoes and starches are really bad. Stick to the sweet potatoes. Here's some more of those almonds I was telling you about. Raw almonds are a great source of fats. All right, before we leave the vegetables, I'm going to show you two more of my favorites. Spaghetti squash. You can bake this, and it's called spaghetti squash because it literally comes apart and comes apart like spaghetti. You can make spaghetti with this spaghetti squash with the noodles that are inside. You can also chop it up and use it as a rice replacement. Don't miss out on that spaghetti squash. All right, now these little joys right here. The snack mixes with the vegetables, really good. They're salted down with Mediterranean salt or sea salt, which is what you want to use. And again, it's not perfect, but I'd much rather you eat those little veggie snacks instead of some Doritos. Let's start making our way into the protein. Here comes the fish. Fish is the single greatest meat you can eat. Okay, I'd almost rather you eat fried fish instead of grilled chicken. It's that good for you. Eat it. Here's another one of my favorites, lunch meat straight from the deli. Most stores have a little bin just like this one. Mmm, fresh lunch meat. I like it. But if you can't get this, you can still get lunch meat in the package. Some other good protein, like this grilled chicken you see here in front of me, these chicken breasts, all these you can do grilled chicken with. You can make a lot of stuff out of these fresh meats. Try to stay away from the frozen anytizers and appetizers and all that kind of stuff right there. Stay away from those. All right, you've already heard me say it once, fat is not the enemy, like the sausage right here, and yes, even bacon. These things increase testosterone, which makes us burn more fat. Eat bacon, eat sausage, mix it in with some sweet potatoes for breakfast, and fry up an egg, and it's perfect. Everybody likes bacon. All right, let's go talk dairy. Dairy is by far the most controversial topic in the paleo diet. First, real quick, some eggs. Eggs are another great source of protein. And don't be afraid of that yolk. The cholesterol is not bad. The high glycemic car carbohydrates are what's bad. Yogurt, again, stay away from it. They're loaded with sugar. Way too much sugar in that yogurt. Okay, It's just not worth it. Now let's talk about dairy. If you have trouble keeping weight off at all, I recommend you give up the dairy. Now, if you just love milk, stick to this guy right here. Almond milk is a great milk substitute. However, don't go for the vanilla or the chocolate one. Too much sugar. The almond milk has a lot of protein and good healthy fats for you. But stay away from that regular milk. All right, let's slide over to the butter. Stay away from the I can't believe it's not butter butters and all the other fake butters. They have loaded down with chemicals and preservatives and they're not good. Use those guys right there, the real sticks of butter, okay? Again, it's good for boosting testosterone. These juices, unfortunately, a long ways from what the marketers want you to think about them. They're not good. They're not healthy. They're loaded down with chemicals and sugar. All right, here we go. That's it for the perimeter. We have to go down the aisles for just a couple of things, but be careful. For the most part, it should be about 90% finished. There's a few things we got to get, though. Peanut butter, but not really peanut butter. Peanut butter or peanuts aren't really nuts. They trick you. They're legumes, but this... Almond butter. Almond butter is great. Remember, I like almonds. Not really peanuts, but almonds. Same thing with peanut butter and almond butter. Almond butter is okay, but not peanut butter. Let's walk down to the bread, but be careful. Look at all these breads. Stay away from absolutely anything that's white. If you have to get some bread, go wheat. But remember, no wheat is best. So what should I use to cook with? What kind of cooking oils are good? I'm going to tell you, you want to stick to coconut oil and olive oil. These two are much better than all these things that are in airsoft cans. You can just see the chemicals lunging out at you right now. Stay away from all those. All those greasy looking, horrible products right there, stay away from them. You notice over here to the right the things that are in the glass that look more natural. Those are the better ones, all right? But what me and my wife cook with, we either use this one right here, the coconut oil. That's a great one. Or we use olive oil. We use olive oil quite a bit. But when you heat it up, it starts to get a little bad for us. Next up, electrolytes. Now, you want to drink mostly water, but water can't really do its job unless it's got electrolytes. 
but don't drink Powerade or Gatorade. Drink this one right here. I like this one. It's got zero sugar. Find the one you like, but that one's got zero sugar. Replenish. Powerade and Gatorade loaded with sugar. So drink that and make sure that you're definitely not going to drink anything down this aisle. Ugh. Almost finished now. One last thing. Supplements and vitamins. Remember, eating a lot of times a day can get expensive and hard. Grab you a shaker like this one. Walk over here to the supplement section and get some protein in a can. Just try to stick to the whey protein or the whey protein isolate like that guy down there. These bigger ones, they're cheap. Really, when you compare them to a full meal of something else, they're pretty cheap. And if you eat that, you're getting plenty of protein. Stay away from ones like you see down there, the muscle milk, even the synthesis. A lot of these have the same ingredients as a Twinkie. Not good for us. But these whey protein isolates down here to the right, easy to throw that in with some almond milk or something like that. And then you got the protein, you got the fats from the almond milk. So what are we missing? Yep, you guys remember, we're missing carbohydrates. Throw in an apple, you got a complete meal. So a protein shake with whey protein isolate, almond milk, and apple, and we've got it. All right, let's get out of this store and let's head over to some fast food. All right, here we go. So like I promised, we're gonna go to a fast food restaurant. I'm gonna show you how to get as far right as you can, as close to we can as a paleo meal. We're gonna go to a couple different restaurants. Just hang with us. Oh uh, yeah, one second, please. All right, order when you're ready. Okay. So as you can see, you got you got grilled chicken sandwiches. You can get apple slices. Uh, you can get grilled chicken snack wrap. I'm obviously going to get water to drink, always important. Uh, so let me show you what I'm going to get. All right, I'm ready. Good. Can I get the uh, the number six, but can I get it grilled? And can I get it dry, please? I'm sorry, you want what? The number six. You want chicken sandwich or the meal? Uh, the meal, please, but can I get it grilled? Yeah. What about the drink? Uh, just the water. And can I get the apple slices instead of the french fries? Alright, thanks. Anyway, it's that easy. Just get the apple slices instead of the fries. Real chicken sandwich, and you'll be good to go. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got. You can see she was kind of confused on asking for apples instead of french fries because everybody eats french fries, right? But we all know just how bad french fries are for you. So, I got my drink, I got a water. That's an easy change to make right there. Don't don't waste your calories by drinking them. Coke, soda, all that stuff, it kills your cardio, which is really bad, get the water. All right, what's in the bag? You can see here, I got my apple slices, all right? A simple, simple switch right there. Swapping out the apples for the french fries, and almost every fast food restaurant now does this. Uh, so go ahead and get that. I got my grilled chicken sandwich right here, right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it. Remember the bread is really high on that glycemic index. So what I usually do, just to get a little closer to the rice, I take one piece of bread off, all right? You can also take the cheese off if you want, but now I got one piece of bread, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, bacon, grilled chicken, and my apple slices and a water. It's not perfect, obviously I get that, but it's 10 times better than anything else you could have got from a fast food restaurant. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, here we go, <laughs> round two. I can do the same thing that we did at the other one, get the grilled chicken sandwich and the apple slices, but I'm gonna show you a little different thing to do. Uh, I'm gonna get a salad, but I'm gonna add some protein. Most salads are a little short on the protein. Uh, you can always get the chicken strips, you can get those grilled. So I'm gonna get like a, I'm gonna get a salad and then I'm gonna add let me get a salad, I'm gonna add the grilled chicken for my protein and get some water like always. All right, so watch this, let's see what we got. Uh, yes sir, I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna get a grilled chicken salad, please. Anything up for you, sir? I'm gonna get the grilled chicken salad. I'm also gonna get an extra order of grilled chicken strips. 
Alright, let's see if I can spot these on here. Uh, yep, the grilled chicken strips. You want those on the uh, on the side? On the side, please. All right, anything else for you? Uh, and just a large water. Eight forty-three. All right, so we're back home now. Uh, we went ahead and got the grilled chicken salad, uh, and I ordered the two extra chicken strips. As you saw, why they put those on there? Uh, even if you use ranch, this is going to be a much better meal than anything else you can get at Jack in the Box or some other fast food restaurant. Okay, you can get the lighter, oily, uh, the more the lighter, the oily, oil-based um, salad dressings they use, the better. Okay, but ranch is still better than getting a giant bacon cheeseburger and then eating the French fries and a Coke. Okay, so the grilled chicken salad and a glass of water. You got plenty of carbs, plenty of protein, uh, and plenty of fats coming from this grilled chicken. All right.